Today, gamers are returning their Intel CPUs. You'll never believe what's damaging GPUs. AMD's new desktop Ryzen CPUs get benchmarked, and NVIDIA's RTX 5090 and 5080 release when? Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, it looks like gamers are returning their i9 CPUs from Intel in droves. If you've been following the channel, you know that there have been numerous reports of crashing being caused by some of Intel's higher-end CPUs. Back in February, it was found that the 13900K and 13700K were to blame for crashes in games with an out-of-video memory error. This seemed to happen in numerous games with Nvidia themselves claiming that it was related to problems with Intel's 13th gen. Tom's Hardware found out that high default power limits were to blame, but typically a CPU's boosting rules would stop this from happening regardless, almost like something was wrong with the CPU itself. Later, there was a statement made by the game developers of Outpost who recommended users having issues with crashing downclock their Raptor Lake or Raptor Lake Refresh CPU. Well, in a new report from ZDNet Korea and later reported by Digital Trends, it looks like 13,900K and 14,900K owners are having major issues with crashes in Tekken 8, once again running into the not enough video memory error. The outlet spoke with one of three companies in Korea that handle support for Intel CPUs, and the representative who chose to remain anonymous claims that consumers wanting to return their 13th or 14th gen CPUs have risen to as much as 10 per day. Intel has since made an official statement to ZDNet claiming to be investigating the issue. I guess time, as always, will tell. Do you get the feeling sometimes that someone's watching you? Well, that's because they are. There are people whose entire job is to find every bit of personal information about you and sell it to pretty much anyone who wants it. They're called data brokers. And until just recently, I thought there was nothing I could do. But there actually is thanks to today's sponsor. Delete Me, an online service that contacts data brokers for you to make them delete your data. I'm talking they remove phone numbers, addresses, and more. And they actually monitor the sites to repeat the removal process anytime they scrape up more of your data. To give you an idea of how bad data brokers are, just last year they exposed sensitive information on US military members, so this is no joke. Luckily, Delete Me can help, and today you can get 20% off Delete Me US consumer plans when you visit join Delete me.com slash meld and use promo code meld in all caps at checkout. That's joindeleteme.com slash meld and use code meld. Next up for today, you'll never believe what's damaging GPUs. Over the last few days, a couple Reddit posts have been blowing up that claims their graphics card's backplate was damaged by the LEDs in their system memory. What did you say? As you can see here, it shows a 4080 in the user's system with the RAM RGB on, and this is apparently their 3080 outside of the system. So yeah, as you can see, there's clearly discoloration where the RGBs were, and we see something similar in the second post. Two of the cards are MSI, and the other is Gigabyte, though it doesn't seem to be limited to those two manufacturers. This one from another user is a 1080 Ti by Zeus, so it's clearly something that can happen to multiple different vendors. Plus, there were quite a few others that reported similar issues. As for the memory used, as you can see in both of these images, they were using G-Skill Trident memory, but this one was using Corsair, so I wouldn't jump on that being the cause or anything, plus it's really too early to tell. So far, there's been multiple theories put forth ranging from UV being emitted by the diodes to poor anodizing done to the aluminum backplates. Either way, it'll likely be some time before we see how widespread this is, but for now, you may want to take a look at your GPU. Next up, if you remember a little while back, I discussed this image that came out of China during an AMD conference, where the company announced Ryzen 8000 CPUs for desktop, the Ryzen 5 8400F and the Ryzen 7 8700F. Well, a Chinese media outlet just got a chance to run the first benchmarks on the upcoming CPUs. But before I get to those, let's go over specs. Starting things off, the 8400F is a 6-core 12-thread CPU with a base clock of 4.2GHz and a boost 
boost of 4.75, while the Ryzen 7 8700F is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU with a base clock of 4.1 GHz and a boost of 5.05. When we compare these to the 8000G series desktop APUs, we can see that the 8700F has slightly lower clocks than the 8700G, and the 8400F also has slightly lower clocks than the 8500G. So these are likely 8000G chips that had their integrated GPUs disabled and clocks lowered. When it comes to performance, this seems to ring true, because both CPUs get right where you'd expect, performing just under their 8000G counterpart. So far, AMD hasn't announced availability of the upcoming chips, but it's assumed they will at least launch in China first. Though, like the 7900 GRE, they could make their way to other countries. The real question will, of course, boil down to price, and unfortunately, AMD hasn't revealed that just yet, but you'll definitely want to subscribe to GamerMeld to find out when they do. And lastly for today, we just got word when NVIDIA is planning to release their next-gen RTX 5000 GPUs. This story comes from a new report by the Chinese outlet Money UDM, where they claim that board partners are expecting a release date in the fourth quarter of this year. Specifically, they state, quote, Board card manufacturers expect that NVIDIA's latest RTX 50 series graphics cards will be unveiled in the fourth quarter. Initially, they will focus on top-end and high-end 5090 and 5080 product lines. So yeah, it looks like NVIDIA is likely set to release their next-gen GPUs this year in Q4. Not only that, but they're planning to announce their higher-end 5090 and 5080 GPUs first. Of course, that part isn't much of a surprise given NVIDIA has been doing this for years now. Not only that, but the well-known leaker Copite 7 Kimmy also claimed that their Blackwell gaming GPUs are set for release at the end of this year. So if you were thinking about buying one of their new supercards, you may want to hold off. Then again, some reports are claiming that China AIBs are planning to raise prices of numerous NVIDIA GPUs, so it may end up being a risky move, especially if NVIDIA's 50 cards end up being significantly more expensive. Fingers crossed they aren't. So while that does it for today, did your RGB memory damage your GPU? And don't forget to check out Delete Me at joindeleteme.com meld and use code MELD. And as always, have a great day!